Hi, I'm Simon, Master Craftsman here at Mackenzie Leather Edinburgh. Today we're going to have a closer look inside our Mackenzie shoulder bags and handbags. The rucksack. So, absolute genius concept and design. Uh, I'm going to start with that very feature. The concept of the multifunctional crossover strap. Now, we've searched through some archives and have discovered that this concept of the crossover multifunction strap started in Paris in the 16th century. So, thank you, Paris. So, a, a few of the key main features for our multifunctional. Uh, rucksack. Obviously in this position it can be worn as a shoulder bag. Then when we pull the straps through we have a very secure, very tidy rucksack backpack. Also just to note it's very secure when, when you're wearing in the in the rucksack position as the straps cross over the zip making it very difficult to gain any unwelcomed entry into your bag. On the top we have a, a YKK zip and it's a nice long zip allowing really good access into the into the bag itself. Uh, we have these lovely um, gusseted sides which taper allowing again a nice large opening. We have here one main zip pocket and then one main compartment. There are a few extras that we can do. Um, outside zip pocket, we can also do an extra internal zip pocket as well, really creating your own rucksack. Um, we've got the four Ds on the top and the two Ds on the bottom. You can choose the, the fittings color uh, for your, your solid brass or nickel plated D's and for the zip as well. And again, your interior color. You'll notice the two, the two sizes here. So we have the small and the large. The large just giving that little extra height and width to the design. And you notice here, this one has the two tone. Uh, that is another option that we can do. Um, this one's two tone with the navy and the in the thistle pink and then this one is all in the in the matte tan. The tote bag. Based on the the classic uh, shopper or bucket bag, Mackenzie's has adapted this this style with its own finesse and made it a truly classic Mackenzie line. We've got five sizes, the tiny, the small, the medium, the business, and the large. We can do them in multiple um, color options. We have uh, our shiny, which is now two-toned with shiny black, shiny brown. Uh, we have our matte tan, all in one color. So as you can see, there's many ways that we can create this bag for you. A few, a few uh, a few bits to point out for our, our tote. We've got a lovely uh, piped edge binding on the top. The straps are riveted to the D-rings, which allow for that for those stress points to be balanced out. Business tote has the, the double poppers on the front, on the top, and on the inside we actually have this drop-in lining, which can be pulled out when you you need to clean it's stitched in with the binding on the top and you'll find two nice deep zipped pockets on the inside which go all the way down to the bottom for security and storage you can obviously choose the color of your lining you can choose whether or not you want to, to two-tone it uh, you've got your fittings color Nice and simple again, simple and classic. 
Uh, just to point out, um, again, all of our stress points are all hand stitched and doubled up. So all, all of this inside here, that's all double hand stitched and on the top on the inside as well. So we're really, you know, reinforcing all of the weak spots in the bag. Okay, we have the Sporin shoulder bag. So based on the traditional uh, day Sporin, uh, it is the same pattern that we use for our day Sporin. And it was really due to, to popular demand uh, that we had to, to come up with a, a way of adapting it so it can be worn as a shoulder bag. So we've got these two D pieces on the back, which have been hand stitched and riveted on with the ease of the, the D ring for flexibility and movement. Um, so that can be worn in the shoulder bag um, position. Nice and simple. We've got a pop stud, pop stud opening. Uh, and then on the inside, main compartment, interior pocket. You can choose the, the, the color of the interior pocket. And just pointing out a few extra points. Uh, all of this is all hand stitched again for that strength and durability of the bag. Um, an extra possibility um, or choice for the, the Sporum bag is you can either have the full length strap or part chain and part strap for that kind of classy, but also trad look for the Sporan shoulder bag. The Gladstonette, based on the, the traditional Gladstone doctor style frame top bag, um, made, in, made in our soft hide range. Uh, so we've got our matte Italian, or we've got our uh, Spanish shiny um, leathers. You can have it, have it in, in all one color, or you can also then two-tone it. So you've got the piping and the bar cover and all your bits in another color. Fittings, we've got solid brass or silver. Here you see the silver fittings. A um, few of the points that we like to emphasize on our bags. We've got uh, four feet on the bottom, nice reinforced base. Um, all of the corners are all hand stitched twice for strength and robustness. Really helps to just hold in those corners. Um, central lock. It comes with a key. It's also lockable. On the inside, it's all lined in a suede. Obviously, there's a, a choice of colors there. You'll notice the the nice action of the, the Gladstonette or the Gladstone frame top style. So hinged together here, um, allowing that nice, simple opening. We have the two sizes. We have our large and our small. You can also add a, a shoulder strap to uh, your Gladstonette order. Um, it's detachable because you know the, the, the main function would be using the handle to carry either over the arm or in your hand. Um, but the, the shoulder strap can be attached onto these D rings here, um, allowing you to have a hands free shoulder bag. Cartridge bag, based on the, the classic hunting, shooting cartridge bag holder. Um, we've adapted this uh, for our handbag range. Um, following itself to the lovely natural curvature of the front, made in our Italian saddle hide range. Uh, this one is in, in red with a lovely contrasting white stitching with nickel fittings. Um, Nice buckle front. On the inside, nice and simple, main compartment, interior pocket, and just emphasizing the, the hand stitching that we do throughout all of our bags. 
any of the weak spots or get doubled up, doubled up for that extra strength. So you can notice here, we've got the two size differences. We've got the small and the large. Um, there's not a great deal in them, but you know, the large will add that little bit extra for our modern day, everyday needs. Uh, another popular uh, extra we can do to personalize your uh, your cartridge bag. Uh, you'll see here on on a, on a vintage Mackenzie cartridge bag, you can add your initials onto the buckle tab. Uh, and that just really does personalize your own Mackenzie cartridge bag. The saddle bag. This is based on the, on the traditional pannier bag, which essentially would be on the, on, on the back of your horse. So the, the, the section would loop over like so, and the weight of the, uh, of the bags would essentially hold it in place. We've adapted this this concept slightly, um, and you'll see that the straps go through the the top part of the flap and the back and are riveted on, which allows itself to kind of hang free and fit very well to the to the hip. Made in our Italian saddle hide or our antique Italian saddle hide. Nice and simple on the inside. This is the medium size. Medium size just comprises of an internal pocket, one main space, one central lock, and nothing else really to it. It's nice and simple, sturdy. All the ends have all been hand stitched again for strength and durability. The large, the large has that little bit extra space so it allows the extra room to put a zip on the front. Uh, again, internal main compartment, internal pocket, you can choose the colour of your interior pocket, you can choose the, the fittings colour can have a bag made for you. The town bag. Its roots really have come from the, 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 the concept and principles of the town and country bag. So it's almost your bag between, between worlds. Um, rectangular in shape, comprised with a, a nice central lock, um, zipped front pocket, main compartment, interior pocket, Really the, the elegance and the shape of the bag uh -oh itself. Again, all of our weak, weak spots or stress points where the bag's gonna come under most of the, the effort, it's all been hand stitched, doubled up for that extra strength. The book bag, a traditional classic, robust, sturdy, compact, solid you know it would have started started its origins really as a, as a small kind of school bag um, you know or you, you would have had ones which are slightly longer um, but that is the, the principal concept um, we have a Sam Brown or screw stud opening so you've got all the, the the bonus and the use of the buckle but you actually open it just by pulling the tab down for, for quick access. Shoulder strap, adjustable shoulder pad. Main compartment. And then you've got your interior pocket with a reorganizer on the front, a pen loop. And you've also got the space behind uh, to act as a pocket. On the back, we have the, the back pocket, which can be quite handy. So you, you'll notice that there's a there's a running theme through all of our um, videos, um, all about the, the reinforcing and the and, and the doubling up hand stitched stress points of all of our products. You know where, where anything is going to be under any any stress, it's all hand stitched. 
allowing for that robustness to stay strong. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing and enjoy our videos, like, subscribe and hit the bell.